<clears throat> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How is everybody? Uh, it is uh, time to get real. Are you ready? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. So there we go. Um, I am hoping, hoping, hoping that everybody can hear me. If you can hear me, if you're watching, um, please uh, just throw me something up in the comments. You know, I can hear you. Uh, today, I'm coming at you live from my home gym, and it's cold out here, so I have my coffee. Um, all right, so a couple days ago, I uh, posted you know, a video about, are you feeling blah? And one of the things that I said to do, you know, was keep on a schedule, make fitness part of your routine. And then I think it was the next day, maybe it was yesterday, maybe it was the day before, I don't remember, um, I posted my workout. And I said, I'm gonna start posting my workouts more so that you guys, if you need some ideas for working out, you can look at that. And then it occurred to me, that you might look at the workouts I post and say, I don't have a gym at home. There's no way that I can do any of these workouts at home. And so I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk about the workout that I posted the other day and then give you some modifications about how you could make that work for you at home because you do not have to have a home gym in order to work out at home. So. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the workout that I posted a couple days ago. It had deadlifts and ball slams and push-ups and biking in it. And then I'm going to give you some modifications with some objects around your house that you can um, do the same workout at home. Okay, now, if you have injuries or if your doctor says you can't work out or if you have corona, don't do it. Okay, however, if, you know, if you are... Um, you know, a healthy individual who is capable of moving around and ready to take your fitness to the next level, or even not even that so much as try something new, all right, um, then this is for you. And I just want to give you a little bit of my background on fitness in case you don't know. Pretty much everything I know, I know from just experience. I've been working out since I was uh, 21 years old and it's been in a lot of group classes and so my earlier days my fitness was pretty much just cardio based cardiovascular based um, with a little bit of like boot camp work and stuff like that and then most recently like seven maybe even more now um, I might be even going on eight years now, I got into CrossFit. And I just want to talk a little bit about the advantage of joining a gym or a program um, and having somebody that knows what they're doing tell you exactly what to do and teach you how to do it. That's how I learned all of my movements. That's how I learned what a deadlift was and you know how to properly do a sit-up and how to properly do a push-up and how to modify um, these movements so if I my ability or capabilities didn't match that movement yet that I could have different options to do. And so um, I just wanted to let you know that most of my experience came from experience and then i went and got certified as a level one crossfit coach and then uh, i started coaching crossfit classes and specialized in uh, what's called gen fit and it was a class initially directed at 55 years and older uh, that 55 years and older population, but it soon became actually more of a class if you wanted to a specialty class or to be able to modify your movements and then more, I don't want to call it a specialty class because it was actually more generalized so that you, could, so anybody could do it. And so we ended up having a wide range of um, primarily women in there. And that was 
hands down one of my all time favorite things that I've ever done in my life. And so um, I do know a little bit about modifying movements for you and how to bring that to you in your home. And so I'm gonna go through that now. And again, just kind of go through the workout that I posted before and then give you some different options about how you can do this at home for yourself, okay? So, um, I, I have it listed over here and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but um, the, the workout, if you can't see it here, then go ahead and scroll up in, on this page and you'll see the, the original workout listed. Now I listed the modified version in the description of this video, okay? So you have that there. So if you can't see this, don't worry, but it just kind of gives me some talking points. The original version of the WAD, and WAD stands for workout of the day, was 15, 12, 9, 6, 3 of deadlifts, ball stands, push-ups, and calorie bike. Now that might mean absolutely nothing to you, okay? And um, it really all it is, is when you look at this, it's you do 15 of each of these movements, 12 of each of these movements, nine of each of these movements, six of each of these movements, three of each of these movements until you're done. Okay, so that's really all that means. And this workout came, it's just something I made up. I wanted to um, work on legs and have some cardio abs, arms. I wanted kind of everything in there. And so I just made this workup out on my own and, um, and did it that way, okay? So, how I can modify that, that workout? So you might be thinking, what the heck's a deadlift? Well, I use a barbell for a deadlift. And do you have a barbell at home? Maybe, maybe not, most likely not, all right? So if you're thinking, okay, I can't deadlift something, and deadlift is picking something up off the ground, to be very general. Um, if I don't have a barbell to deadlift, well, geez, then I can't do this workout. No, all right, so deadlifts, all right, so the barbell might look like this, I'm picking something up, up off the ground. Maybe you don't have that at home, though. Maybe you have a kettlebell, okay? Maybe you have a dumbbell. You can do the same thing with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, okay? So we can use a kettlebell, we can use a dumbbell, okay? Maybe you don't have any of that at home, okay? Well then, and maybe you don't want to invest in any equipment either. That's fine. Um, I, maybe just like a bag of cat litter, or, um, so I got five cats, I think most of you guys know that. And I ended up getting some of cat litter in these containers. And I'm thinking, I'm going to repurpose these and use these for my gym. So you could deadlift with this cat litter. You could fill it with cat litter. You could fill it with water. You could empty it and you could just fill it with water or sand or whatever. And you could use the same thing, pick this up off the ground and put it down, all right? Using the hand all on here. All right, so you could deadlift with something like this. Um, I had to go and get uh, softer salt. And first of all, the guy that was there was so nice and asked me if I needed help loading it into my vehicle, like just the customer passing by, I thought that was really sweet. But I was really happy that I could say no to that, um, that I was capable of doing it myself. But what I noticed was bags of softener salt are 40 pounds, have handles on them that are perfect for deadlifting. So, you might want to get yourself a bag of softener salt that you can use um, as a fitness tool or an odd object to uh, use in working out. So, just I'm not going to go over deadlifting um, in detail with you because it's kind of, it can be um, technical and intricate, but I just don't want you to hurt yourself. So, the biggest thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you keeping your blood up high and then grabbing your back and pick it up like this. You have to put all the strain on your lower back, right? You have to flatten your back out. You've got to shift your hips back, keep your shins parallel to the ground, shoulders and hips, back and lower together. You pick this up, keep it close to your body, keep your belly tucked in, and I pick it up and down. 
So there's another odd object we can do. Then, again, more cats and cat litter. Same thing with the bag of cat litter. And you might even want to, so you don't have to bend down so far, put this on an elevated surface, maybe a stair or a step or something like that. Same thing. Push your butt back. Keep your back straight. Keep this close to your body. Lift it up and down. So, when you see something like a deadlift, again, that's just picking it up off the ground and putting it down, you can deadlift any odd object that you have at your house, okay? Now, if you're thinking, I'm not strong enough to pick any of that stuff up, okay, you got your butt break. What about, what about a broom, okay? You're just starting out, what about a broom? It's the same thing as a barbell. You can pick this up and put this down. Okay, so you could just use that if you're just starting out. You just want to use body weight movements. Okay, so there are a lot of different modifications um, and objects you could use for deadlift. Next thing on that list in that workout was ball slams. All right, so another reason to go to a gym or to have a personal trainer or to have a coach of some kind is so that maybe you can know what these exercises are, the parts of the body that you're working out. If you happen to know that a ball slam is going to work your core or your abdominal muscles, um, then you would know how to modify that at home. Okay, so just to show you what a ball slam is, um, this is a 30 pound ball. They make 15 pound balls and 20 pound balls. I don't know if they make 10 pound balls. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. But a ball slam is Taking this ball up off the ground, lifting it up overhead, and slamming it to the ground. Okay? So, you don't have a ball at home. All right, that's fine. Now that you know ball slams are for your core or your abdominals, you can just do a sit up. Okay? You can come here and you can just do a sit up. Can't do a sit up? Okay. Maybe do some leg lifts. Here we go. Lift your legs up and down. Don't let your heels touch the ground. All right. So there are a couple different abdominal exercises that you could do in place of your ball slams. Next up on this list, push-ups. So you're thinking, Dawn, I've never been able to do a push-up. Okay, that's fine. Use a wall. All right. So you could take your wall, okay, arms length apart, feet together, all right, lower, all right, up and down, wall push up. You're thinking, well, wall push up's too easy, but push up on the ground is too hard. All right, so can I do grill push ups? No, because like on your knees, that's, I mean, that's entirely up to you. What I might recommend instead, is like a chair, a bench, a table, something sturdy, a box, something like that. Um, might be your transition or your in-between stage from a wall push-up to a floor push-up. Might be doing your push-up on the box instead. Okay? So there's that. So those are a couple modifications for push-ups if you can't do a push-up from the floor. And then the last thing on that list, was calorie bike, meaning every time you bike, you you bike that certain number of calories. But you're thinking, well, Don, I don't have an exercise bike at home. That's fine. If you have a, a different piece of cardio equipment, then use that. If you have no cardio equi equipment at home, again, you know what the movement is supposed to do. If you know the intention of that movement, so that was to get your heart rate up a little bit, um, then you can modify or fill in with something else. So you might want to fill in, instead of doing 15 calories on your bike, you could do 15 jumping jacks. If that's too intense, you know, taps. You could do jump rope instead. I might triple the number, maybe do 45 at least instead. A jump rope is great for um, travel as well. So, and again, for those of you who saw my um, how I got started in exercising, jump rope was the way. So, 
You might want to do jump rope. You could do instead of that. So jumping jacks, jump rope, cardio machine. Um, you could run back and forth, shuttle runs. So you could just, again, get your heart rate up. You might just want to run back and forth. I know you guys probably can't see me, but you could run back and forth. Okay. Um, last thing maybe you could do is use the same bench, chair, step, stair, box, something sturdy that you can step up and down on. Okay. So those are some modifications that you could do for the cardio piece. So all of a sudden, your my home gym workout of deadlifts, ball swings, push-ups, and calorie bike becomes an at-home workout of deadlifts with an odd object, sit-ups, wall push-ups, and jumping jacks. So really anything can be modified. And what I really want to encourage you to do is to use your imagination a little bit, um, look around your house, see what it is that you could um, use for some functional fitness. And if you need ideas or help or, um, again, some just some guidance and coaching, don't hesitate to reach out. It's one of my very, very, very favorite things to do, okay? Um, so I just wanted to give you a few different ideas and hopefully inspire you to um, get moving at home if you can't get to your gym or if you can't get, um, or if you don't have a home gym um, to work out in, okay? All right, guys, thank you all for listening. I will see you soon. Um, your action step today, work out. I'm going to work out with my friend Nicole soon. I get a lot of my ideas from her. Um, she does street parking, so you might want to check that out. Look up street parking. That's a lot of at-home workouts as well. And typically all you need for equipment is a set of dumbbells, so you could try that. So many different ideas, all right? The, the key is just to get moving and keep um, keep progressing, keep moving forward, okay? All right, guys, thanks for listening, and I will see you soon. Peace.